Today I'm going to talk about one of my allergies, which is stinginess. Have you ever had a friend or dated a stingy person? You know, I used to think that they were the minority, but they're actually not. Hi, I'm Natasha aka Nat. Welcome. This is a new channel where I want to share my passion for stingy people. I really, really, really love them. Not. So let's get down to my countdown. I had just had coffee with a friend. This very sweet and polite girl uh, brought the bill. We paid, of course. And on the way out, you know, I left a little tip. So my friend goes, what are you doing? I'm leaving a tip. And he said, why leave a tip? If we left even 10 cents everywhere we went, we would be broke. Come on. And on to another case, an acquaintance this time. Her name was Nicole. I met her uh, via another friend. She was a smoker, not a heavy smoker. I went out. She hit me up for a cigarette. 20 minutes later, she hits me up for another. Um, starting to think something stinks here. Two minutes later, here comes another request. And I'm like, enough is enough. Hey, Nicole, why don't you go buy a pack of cigarettes? Uh, you know, I'm trying to, to quit, so I don't want to buy a pack. And you think it's fair that I buy a pack of cigarettes and uh, we share it? If you don't want to help me, okay. It's not that I don't want to help you. Go buy a pack of cigarettes. Take out how many you want and give me the rest and I will save it for you. We never went out again. She never talked to me again. I'm gonna talk about a friend's brother. He doesn't live in the same city that we do in Thessaloniki. And uh, every time he visits, he likes to bring her a little present. Usually it's, uh, I don't know, a pack of uh, sweets or something. But uh, while uh, traveling, he eats it all. And when he did arrive at her house, he would raid on the fridge, you know, looking for stuff to eat. He would even complain if she hadn't bought something that he liked. Side note, he never even bought her a freaking t-shirt. It was, uh, I think, uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, I was hosting a party at my place. A friend came, he brought along another friend. I didn't know him at the time. And uh, that friend brought me a bottle of uh, wine. I thank him and I placed the wine on a shelf in my kitchen. We were all having such a great time, you know, dancing and uh, laughing and chit-chatting. I had so many drinks that uh, I was dehydrated. So I thought, Natasha, you have to go, you know, have a, a glass of water or something. So uh, I went to the kitchen and uh, the door was open and uh, before I entered, just outside, I saw this guy, let's say his name was Nick, and uh, he was uh, taking the bottle of wine he had brought me and uh, he put it uh, inside his coat. He hid it there. I disappeared. Ten minutes later, he came to me, he wanted to thank me for being a wonderful host. And uh, he was wearing his coat, of course. He was something like this. I just told him, and thank you for the wine. <laughs> Having worked in the hotel business for a few years, I have come across uh, various types of people. I think that if you stay at a luxury hotel, it means that you can afford it. You're not poor. So there were times when people would uh, steal the bathrobes from their rooms 
Okay, I understand. It's uh, it's very soft. It's very fluffy. It's great. It's beautiful. It's uh, it feels good. But you have the money. Why still? Go buy one. So we're halfway in the list. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. A former friend was engaged to this guy who seemed really serious and a really nice guy and I think he was in the military or something. Uh, the engagement didn't go well after a year they broke up but it was something mutual. He packed all his stuff, everything and just before leaving he stopped. Oh my god, I almost forgot. And my friend was like, wow, wow, what did you forget? He rushed to the kitchen picked up a big bag and he filled it with empty ice cream Tupperware. Oh yes, that's right, you heard correctly. Another very nice experience from the hotel industry era. Part of my job was uh, attending uh, galas. There would usually be a buffet with delicious food. And uh, there were times when I would see people, they would fill up their plate all the way up, piled up food. They would actually cross the reception area and shamelessly go to their car to leave. I think all of us or most of us have stumbled upon a shopper in a supermarket that uh, actually drinks or eats the products and then leaves the empty package behind prior to paying for it. Mr. Stingy Eater, would you like it if somebody did that to you at your own supermarket, let's say. A friend and his uh, girlfriend were invited uh, by a colleague to barbecue at his place. The girlfriend had eaten too much though, so she goes, oh, I'm stuffed, I'm stuffed. I'm going to wash my hands, you know, I'm all greasy. The colleague gives her directions and says to my friend, oh, I spent 28 euros, it's nine euros each. And yes, we're down to number one. First date with this gorgeous rich guy. We go to this uh, really luxurious restaurant of his choice. He's been a real gentleman. We seem to be getting along really well. Long story short, he asks for the bill and I lean to grab my purse. I always do this. I don't expect uh, from anyone to pay for my food. Uh, I mean, uh, when I go out on a date, but I really do appreciate a man who does this only for the first time. Maybe I'm a bit old fashioned, but I think this is a really good sign, doing something chivalrous. Anyway, he catches my move and says, wait, wait in his sweet, gentle voice. Then he grabs his phone. I got you. And I'm thinking, did he receive a message or anything? Did he forget to call somebody? I'm quite pleased with what I'm seeing. It only took five tiny words and phew, thrill is gone. It's 31 euros each. Five little words. So no, he wasn't writing a message. He was calculating. He was smiling. And I was feeling sick to my stomach. I was so fucking mad that I almost threw the money at his face. I was gonna leave a tip for the waiter. So he grabs the money gives him back the change. And uh, I told him, well, the rest is a tip, leave it to the waiter. He pays 
and leaves a 50 cent coin on the table. I rest outside and he asks, where to now? Home. I don't feel very well. I took off like a flash and never talked to him again. I'd love to read your comments and or experiences below. So thank you. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Stay tuned until next time. See ya.